Alright, what's going on guys? It's Jeb and welcome back to some more Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The last video that I did on Texas Chainsaw Massacre ended up getting over 30,000 likes. So just thank you guys for that. And also, obviously, if you want some more, leave a like on this video. I'll continue. I got all these different blood buffs now, so I'll be able to level Grandpa like real quickly. What the fuck? Come here. Oh my god, this game is so shit. One of them dead. Those guys try to quit. Oh, he's fucking her up. I'm coming, Johnny. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna go over here and just keep hard camping this thing. Seems like Leatherface has his own idea of camping it anyway. Oh, yeah, one of them's dead. There goes another one. I can't wait until I get like the super maxed out cook shit and it's just, yeah, it's gonna be absurd. Hunt down the final victim. Yeah, they tried to rush the valve right at the start of the game and that just did not work out for them. They're trying to get me to chase in order to uh, actually do something about it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he just killed all of them. He did. He just got a 4K on him. <laughs> a GG, I guess. Ooh, one of my perks leveled up. I got 745 score, but I, I mean, clearly Johnny had it covered. I didn't do shit. Yeah, so I was actually gonna end up doing a Mortal Kombat video today, but I made that Call of Duty video yesterday, which uh, I will never speak about it again. I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Anyway, it's all made up. The Mortal Kombat beta ends today. And then the full game actually comes out in, what, less than a month, I think on the 19th or something like that. Uh, but I think if you actually pre-order like whatever like the best edition is, it gives you like five days early access or something. And then the full game comes out on the 14th. So it's even less time than that. The amount of Johnnies that I've seen pop off on this game, like full savagery Johnnies just chasing people and murdering them in like four shots. I feel like everybody should need to be able to learn how to play Leatherface, but says me, I don't want to. Dude, this game, I know that a lot of people are kind of put off by it because they feel like it's definitely more competitive or like, quote, competitive and taken more serious, which is a natural thing to try to, you know, compare the game to. But honestly, th th this gameplay loop, it doesn't even piss me off. Like, it's actually like just really addicting, especially with like the actual um, progression thing and the skill trees and the builds and stuff like Please, Julie, I love her. You guys haven't played anyone else except Julie. I wish you well in hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell, dude. We're all terrified, I'm sure. We're already in hell. I'm learning the maps better, too, because the maps are, like, really overwhelming at first. You don't really know where you're supposed to go or, like, what the best thing to do is. What the heck is everybody doing? We should have found them by now. What are you the game just started. Okay, Valve is over here. Grab some of his blood. Yeah, we get a lot of blood now. 30. I think if you could, like, fully upgrade it, you could get, like, maybe, like, 50 per thing. Crazy good. I mean, if you didn't murder people for a living, I mean, all right, boom, we're maxed out. Gonna wake Grandpa up with some good shit. Oh, people dying already? Wait, really dying? Tastes good, oh my, don't it? people are already dying? The maps are so nice on this game. I don't even have it on like max settings. It's on like high or whatever. The ultra settings on this game make your shit like hitch like crazy. I don't know why it does that. Like I'm not lagging. It's just hitching. It's got like these weird little stutters and shit in there. I mean, if no one wants to come outside, then fine. I wonder if this will put grandpa over. Here you go, grandpa. <laughs> Here you go. Aha, yeah, I did it. Beautiful. Bop! I closed the door, buddy. Bop! Oh, he fell down. Yeah, that's my uh, bleed. I'm sorry, man. Bop, 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 bop. I guess Johnny's after that. I'm gonna love up Grandpa again. Oh no. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. Well, they're all dead, I think. Easy peasy, baby. Also, in yesterday's video, I saw a comment where somebody was like, "Dude, I came to this Texas Chainsaw video for gameplay, not for you to talk about UFC shit." It was 20% gameplay, 80% UFC. I was like, "Okay, bet. Let's do the math." I talked about UFC in that video for two minutes 40 seconds out of a nine minute 30 second long video. That two minute and 30 seconds of the nine minutes and 40 seconds of that video, the guy has this shit reversed. I don't know what to tell you when you have a huge UFC event coming up. I'm gonna talk about it. That's what I've done. To sit there and then straight up lie about the amount that I'm talking about it is just, it just goes to show that you're just completely disingenuous. Two minutes feels like 80% of the video for you. I get it. The dopamine hits from the constant internet usage. I get it. I'm a top tier internet user. My dopamine receptors are shot. I get it. You're impatient and you can't listen to shit. Just click through. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But don't lie. 80% UFC talk. Shut the fuck up. Tell you what. I tell you what. Grab a little bit of blood. Padlock this. Grab this one. This one. Then we go right, Grandpa. Oh, he's dead. All right, hey, good job, Johnny. Yeah. yeah. I also have this like family perk or whatever. As it levels up, uh, like as we level up, Grandpa. Grandpa has like extra abilities. Got an ability that's kind of similar to uh, barbecue and chili. Basically makes the locks and stuff like that uh, harder to actually pick. Here you go, Papa. Oh, 
Dog's over here running back into the basement. I'm chasing him. They I'm close the door. Now. I think they're both down Let's here still. I don't need to chase him. I'm the cook. I'm good. You guys can run away all you want. You're only making it harder on yourselves. Exactly, Pa. This will put Grandpa Where over to level four. I mean, they got to do something. <laughs> Come on! Dude, like, what, what do you, what do you think you're doing? doing? Like, you're not gonna sit here and, and cross me up. Like, sit. Just die, man. Who are you running from? Oh, one of them escaped. Okay, they must have done the fuse or some shit. That never went off. One of them got away. We got the blood bucket level up. We're gonna get even more. Escape from rear exit. How? So I guess that was on Johnny right there. He should have been outside a lot more. I, I'm, it's not my job to be all the way outside sitting here checking the rear exits. Oh, no, not again. This thing happened. Supplied credentials are invalid. I don't know what that means. The football season is starting soon, and then the Eagles. Oh, man. It feels so odd to... It, it feels so odd. Like, I, listen, as a fan, you always hope that your team, for any sport... Why? Why? What did I do wrong? What did I do? It's always this feeling of like, man, I wish I had a team that like would win all the time or like people expect to win or people Super Bowl contenders and all this other shit. And then finally, after they won the Super Bowl and then, you know, had some mixy years here and there and then the Super Bowl lost, people are expecting the Eagles to be Super Bowl contenders still. And like in my head, I'm sitting here like, watch the Eagles just not even make the playoffs. I'm not saying that's what I hope will happen. I'm saying that like every time things are going well, it makes me feel like it's more likely for bad shit to happen that might just be a trauma response but you know go ahead yeah fine fuck it i'll just do hitchhiker oh, that's so stupid man and you can never win either when you express these kinds of feelings out there because they feel like oh well if you think that your own team is gonna lose then like the other eagles fans will be like dude don't put that energy out there it's just like you know it. it's in the pit of everyone's stomach every single day that they wake up be thankful thankful that shit is you know going the way it has been but like i also don't want to take the shit for granted because the one thing that i couldn't stand was the fans of teams that literally are like a part of a dynasty like especially like bandwagon hopping fair weather fans that hop in and out of all of these fandoms so they just don't have to feel lost you guys know how it was throughout all these years and i told you the eagles getting one super bowl win i genuinely thought i would live in like a full life out and then die without ever seeing the eagles win i genuinely thought that that was the case i genuinely thought that that was a more than likely possibility and i mean statistically it's not impossible there are people out there that could be fans of a team and ever since they're a kid that could even understand Stand that they want to, you know, cheer for the Eagles or something or any team. That kid could grow up, get old, and die without ever seeing them touch a Super Bowl. I thought that was me. So them winning the Super Bowl, what was it, 2017 or whatever it was? Shit feels like it was yesterday. And it was the most perfect Super Bowl win you could ask for. There are zero little exceptions in that Super Bowl win. There's no weird calls. The Eagles were actually at more of a disadvantage with a backup quarterback. Literally max difficulty Super Bowl win. No one can take that shit away. Perfect. I don't even gotta defend this shit in they know that's all i needed all right hitchhiker time let's try it whatever so one difference between the uh beta and this game the generator is already started beta before you would have to actually like uh go over there and turn it all on yourself i think you do have to turn the back one on though yeah you do have to turn the back entrance on so that's hitchhiker's job if you have a character that is like you know has a lot of stamina mobility and stuff like that that's your job to so literally just go out and turn this shit off set a trap right here in front of it so they have to take a little bit more time <laughs> Yeah, right. Is there any time that you actually... Oh, shit! What happened to... Oh, he's dead? Oh, my God! What is everybody... Oh, my... He's running out back over here, side yard. What is he doing? Die, motherfucker! Kill him! I don't know if my voice chat is working, but it's not popping up up there anymore. Oh, I realize I don't have, like, a family perk for this. I'm gonna go and check on the outside shit, see if anybody made it out back. Generator's still running. Uh, this looks like it's still hooked up. No one activated the trap or broke my trap. Let's see if they, uh, did anything with my trap over here. Nope, nothing else. I feel like them doing the fuse box is probably... That makes the most sense. So if I'm Survivor, I'm probably just gonna get insanely good at doing fuse box because there's just no noises for doing fuse box. One of the few ways the victims can actually get out. I mean, I really don't think that they're outside at all, but this is part of my job, so. Basement exit open. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. They had to do fuse. It's the only silent way to actually do, like, get out. Um, fight. Fight. Over here. I got one in the backyard over here. He's probably dead. 
Never mind. He jumped down into the well. He fell back down into the basement. He's pretty hurt. Might be able to actually escape through the basement door now. How did this guy get over here, though, if there's a padlock on there? All right, Max Grandpa, wherever this guy is, he might just be waiting at that exit. I don't know. They're both still in the basement. I have no idea how that one dude got into the back with that padlock in the way and the other shit. I have no idea. Everything out here is on, so I'm just going to go in and kill him. Oh, wow. Ha! All right, where's the last guy at? Is he still in the basement? Yeah, he's still in the basement. This guy is fucked. Oh, he's dead. All right, GG. They live for a long time, but we get grandpa so quick. It's just, it's over. Not too bad. I didn't kill anybody, but hey, they didn't escape either. I mean, the one dude was going for it, but... <laughs> I'm just too efficient at, you know, preventing them from leaving. Uh, I'm coping. I should do a lot better. So anyway, if you guys want some more Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the future, or if you want me to try out, like, new killers, or try to play victim or something like that, let me know down in the comment section. If this video gets, like, 20,000 likes, I'll continue doing that. But for sure, suggest, you know, other characters and stuff down in the comment section. Let me know, and, uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later.